Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a single grain, mm, two single grains here on my cask. The first which I will taste today is the Observatory, 20 years of age, bottle 2018, 40% ABV and priced in the mid 30s, probably somewhere else in the world, uh, up to the 40s, euros, dollars, pounds. And this is 20 years of age and that far below 40. That's a bargain. But it's not a single malt whiskey, it's a single grain whiskey. It's not that popular, but 20 years of age is 20 years of age. No doubt. This whiskey is from the proprietors of the Macduff Distillery. The Macduff Distillery has the Deveron as its main single malt product, but that whiskey is the lead malt in several blended whiskies, and for that blended whiskies, the distillery bought uh, the grain whiskey for further maturation, and from that casks, this whiskey comes from that I was told. Um, there's a lot of story going on uh, on the back of that uh, card box. Uh, the name, the observatory, comes from the lighthouse, the several lighthouses around Scotland with the uh, 10,000 miles of coastal range uh, shore uh, around Scotland. If you travel to Scotland, you know all those winding roads uh, at the seashore. Yeah. Um, have a try. The Observatory Company, London Road, Glasgow. Yeah. This is not a single malt. It's fruity. It's lightly oily on the nose. Yeah. This is aged whiskey. This is definitely older than the normal stuff. It shows maturity, long, deep, dark. Summer berries, fruity, juicy summer, summer berries. And in the back, a hint of, yeah, first vanilla, no doubt, little butterscotch, and after that, some citrus peel, more dry aroma, yeah. Mm -hmm. Creamy, oily, and then, yeah, 20 years of age in a in an oak cask shows spiciness going over to light bitterness, dark chocolate, longer aftertaste with this. So if you don't like coffee, the bitterness of coffee, stay away from that. This is definitely intense. The aftertaste is long and now it's balanced. So the bitterness fades away. The oiliness stays on my tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is deep. This is long, matured. Yeah, I'm typically no friend of grain whiskey, not at all, because most often those grain whiskies come from the blend industry and you get the least good casks and have all these mass massive bitterness. Blah. So I don't like them typically. But I was asked uh, if we uh, should uh, source them and well I tried them and this is different. So here you do not have those old re 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 refill casks which very often are used 10 times in the blended whiskey industry. This one was a better cask and was used for 20 years. So there's not always again and sucked out casks. So this is uh, a better cast selection and with this 
uh, the malt tastes better. And 20 years of age for below 40. That's a bargain. Whenever you're, you want to taste a single grain whiskey, this one is one of the good ones. Yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. The next one will be up in a day or two. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.